This motorhome has just arrived. Uh, this motorhome is an Eldis 120 Accordo. It is a two berth and two travel seats. Uh, this vehicle's on an 18 registration and it's just travelled just over 8,900 miles. Uh, excellent condition. I'm going to give you a walk round of this van. As I say, it's on the two berth and a lovely example. So from the outside, you'll see it's got nice alloy wheels and on the top there, you'll see the Fiamma awning. Uh, this van is just under 6 metres, 5.99 metres, so really compact, lovely van and lovely condition. As you see walk round, you've got the two bike rack on the back, we've got our rear camera on the rear for reversing. And as we come round, just having a look, you've got your water intake here. It's also got the LPG gas flow system in here, which is an upgrade with the two gas flow bottles in there. Um, it's on a Peugeot Boxster and it's a 2.2 diesel engine on a 140 brake horsepower, six speed manual transmission. So that's the walk round of this two berth Eldis 120 Accordo. We'll now have a look inside the habitation area. We're now going to have a look inside this uh, habitation area of this Eldis Accordo 120. So let's have a look inside this two berth Eldis. So from the inside you'll see, I'm just coming in here guys, lots of uh, space in here. Um, you've got the, right away you've got the kitchen area on here, the fold up table. You've got the sink hot and cold water. Uh, on our control panel here, uh, that's just all your control panel for your voltage, water, and we've got a whale heating system in here uh, with the hot water and the heating. So looking at the van, very spacious, this two berth. Uh, I'll just spin round to show you the front. From the front of the vehicle, we have the skylight area, the cab with the spinning seats, and I'll switch back round and you will see now all of the rear habitation area. So we've got the kitchen as you come in, uh, straight here on this door is the toilet. We'll have a look inside the toilet first. So we've got a toilet shower in here with a lovely wash hand basin. Um, plenty of uh, space and nice and compact in here. You've got the Thetford toilet cassette. We've also got some uh, cupboard space in here, handrails and a nice mirror on the wall there. So that's a nice uh, toilet shower, very compact, very easy and managed to, to use. And from the kitchen area, we'll have a wee look. We've got the Dometic uh, fridge freezer here. So we've got the three-way fridge. We'll just open that up, let you see inside. So there's plenty of space in there. That's your fridge freezer. Okay, all high-end appliances, guys, with the Dometic stuff. Uh, we've got some upper storage here. Uh, microwave. So we've got a nice microwave in the kitchen area. On here, we have got a three-gas burner. Again, that's uh, Dometic appliances. The Thetford uh, gas oven grill. That's us in here, yep. More, uh, some drawer storage here, if you can see that. Yep, so we've got some more storage here. And moving on to the rear, we've got two single beds, but this also folds into a large double bed. Um, plenty of storage underneath here, and we've also got plenty of upper storage uh, all round here. You can see that, there's lots of storage here, yeah. We've also got some space here in the cupboard. Um, plenty of cupboard space here. You can keep us, uh, all your blinds and hookup cables, more overhead locker storage there. Really, really impressive the storage in this vehicle. Um, as you'll probably see, it's got skylights above on the kitchen area. Um, so these here, they've got all round fly screens and all round blinds, guys. Just closing them over, let you see them. Very high end quality built. And the same on here. And looking across, you've got USB ports, and you've also got power points. We've got nice LED lights, um, speakers in the rear, which is great. And this, as I say, goes into a double bed. And again, all round blinds and fly screens. And you've got double glazed windows here as well. So there's plenty of light in this van uh, during the day. I forgot to mention, we've got a nice TV area here in, this, uh, in the lounge, so you can sitting nicely here watching the TV and that's obviously from the rear of the van letting you see 
all the way back into the, where the van starts. So that is the inside of the habitation area of this Eldis 120 Accordo. We'll now have a look inside the driver's and passenger's area. We're now going to have a look inside the driver's and passenger's cab area of this Eldis 120 Accordo. So from the top, vehicle has remote central locking and inside lots of nice features. You've got electric windows here. It also has electric mirrors. And um, we'll just step into the cab and see some of the features on here. So in here you have the multi-function steering wheel, okay? So that's the, there. As you can see, the van has only done, travelled 8,943 miles. Um, it's on a 2.2 diesel engine and a 146 man, six speed manual transmission, okay? Um, just starting up, so you get lots of nice features. Obviously power steering, you would expect ABS brakes, um, a lot of good safety features on this van. That's a pleasure to drive. They really are. Um, cup holders. You also have the um, air conditioning on here, and this is your multimedia. So you can have Bluetooth phone um, to connect your phone. You also have the radio connections, and as I say, all your heaters, some USB, some more cup holders. Really good visibility. This is just your camera. Um, rear camera here which is a facility for that you've got all round privacy blinds plenty of uh, visibility in the mirrors here as well this van will also have cruise control as standard which is a really nice feature to have so that's just having a look inside some of the features we also have the captain's chairs both swivel in the driver and the passenger area so that's the inside of this uh, Peugeot Boxer Eldis 120 Accordo and that's the inside of the driver's and passenger's area. So that's the walk round of this two berth Eldis 120 Accordo motorhome. Uh, if you're interested, you can see everything on the website at www.motorhomeworld.co.uk. Uh, alternatively, you can email us direct at info at motorhomeworld.co.uk. Thank you.